Let me go to you now. So I would, you know, the last time. Okay, so in the last class we looked at uh, profit and sales. We did um um look at profit and sales. We looked at uh, profit in terms of um, the scattered plot, and I tried to like um, show you how you can set a parameter to see the um, the parameters that fall in between. You know, you know to. If you you can set now, for example, now I want to have a parameter, I have a parameter marker or a meter that te that tells me that uh, that I want to know the maybe the products that fall below or above a certain profit meter. I can put it there, like okay, I want to know the products that fall above, let us say, a thousand. And if I put it on thousand profit, we can see the profit marker would move to a thousand and we say we want sales maybe the sales marker wants it to be like maybe three thousand then we can see you know it marks it out and we can further make this more more interesting right we can make it more interesting in a certain way maybe like using uh creating like sets so by creating uh what, what we call sets we can use that to, to improve on this. But before we go into that, uh, you can also show a trend line. So if, if you click on analytics, you know, there is data, there's analytics. So if you click on analytics and you click on the trend line, you drag the trend line in, you can see, so it will say, it will give you different types of trend line, right? It will give you like linear, it will give you log it will give you the exponential, it will give you poly, Mia and the power. So if you put it on the linear, right, it will show like a linear line. But let's assume, you know, let's let me put it on the. It doesn't really follow like, uh, you know. So if I try the exponential, it's not really. This is not exponential, right? So if I put it on the polymer, she is. Is it not really understand? Um, so, so I I'll just use the you know the the, the linear one you know it cuts across. So you can have if if you look at it now it shows like um, the profit uh, the R squared and the p value and things like that. So this is just like it's just to show a, a what you call it, a trend line and. Um, uh, just to show the trend line of the then you can also you know annotation so maybe like points so you can an annotate by point so say for example let's see let's say for example i click on this guy now so that's because you know i've already said i've already said that i should you should uh, annotate by point and now the point so if i click on this now it shows like uh something but i can also still edit on it i can still edit it you know the annotated point the mark and say okay this is what i wanted to say maybe like maybe for for some certain things maybe like for for this guy up here now you know um say for example i go and probably i wanted to say maybe highest profit and sales for example so you know so this particular figure you know we can see the highest point and we can like you know Come here. Of course, this is not. This would not. I don't. This is from the from this. It shows that oh, is the lowest. You know, um, uh, is the lowest. Um, profit, but not technically the lowest sales. 
right? But this one for sure, we are sure that is the lowest profit. So, you know, like, uh, so just something like that, you can just use to pick some point, like, okay, lowest profit or lowest sale or something like that. This, do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, because the lowest sale is going to be like somewhere around this area, right? And uh, because that's where the lowest sale will be, like somewhere, somewhere around the back, because it falls towards, you know, the back. Now, somewhere around uh, the lowest, with the lower it goes here, because this is the mark. This, uh, say for example, uh, let me, this um, line here is, this, the, what do you call it, the exact, the, the X axis is where we have our, that's the, that's where we have our, sales right so yeah the x the, the x the x axis is where we are no the sorry the x axis is where we have our sales and the y axis is where we have our no the x axis is where we have our profit rather and the y axis is where, where we have our sales so somewhere around this area you can see that's where you know that's like it's not the, it's the lowest profit but not like the highest um, sales so we can see if you put the profit meter there, you can see so we can you know that that function so that function there we can use to like um uh, do like a marker just to you know just to further like talk about um things like this that's what that function is for right so i would um come here and i would try to let's see if we can create uh Let me know. Use let's use uh, what do you call it? Mm, the other so use products or oh, other name. Okay, use other ID. So we can use like a formula to say we want to create like a set. Maybe for example, uh, first, um, so we'll create like a rigid one, right? So if let's say for example, um, I write the, um, we are looking at profit, Abby. So just before, where profit is say, let us say greater, or, or less than, less than or equal to, let us say profit meter. Let's try and link it. What am I doing? So, um, yeah, so let us say profit meter. So just give me a moment. So, um, so um, let me create a calculation field. Um, Okay. 
I'll just name it profit for scatter plot for now. So like we did in the uh, so I'll use the if so I say say if profit so if profit greater or equal to, if if profit is greater or equal to this then So let's see, copy. I'll just um, save this for now. Then I'll come to this um, other ID. Right? Because that one should give us all the... Yeah, um, Godwin. Can you kindly expand that formula? Let's... Uh, it's, it's a little bit very tiny. Uh, it's tiny. Yeah, just hold on. I'm trying to... Be sure something first. Eh? Let's see. Why is this not working in here? So condition. So what the formula is saying is if the profit, right, if the profit is equal to, or is sorry, is less than or equal to profit meter, then you should give me the profit meter. Right, Godwin. Can you hear? Yeah, I can hear you. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to create, I'm trying to create a set with this formula. I'm trying to create uh, I'm trying to create a set with this formula so that with that set we can combine it. We so uh, with that set we can combine the value. So okay, let us use greater than or equal to so calculation. So let me see if I can use this instead. Let me see because I created so calculation for scatter plot. Field. So okay, say okay. Um, profit. The problem with this is that it 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 um it do, I can tie it with the parameter, right? So I can give a particular value here, but I can't tie it with the parameter. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tie it with the parameter, so that by the time I move the parameter, this also moves. So that's what I'm setting. That's why I'm so because if I if for example I put like for for example I put in this case I put set, and this is the value I want, right? And let us say I put um three hundred here. I'm just saying for example I create for profit. I create a set for profit, and I call it, I call it profit set. I'll just demo this quickly for us. And uh, I I call it profit set, right? And I say. And I say, okay. 
Then I come here, order again, and I create, and I create set, and I call this uh, sales set, right? And I come, say you should use all. Uh, I say greater than or equal to, this is for profit. Right, that the first one I did was right. I said this one, maybe I put a thousand in. Right, I can combine these sets together. Create, I can create a combined set that. The, the set that I'm, com that I'm create this combined set that I'm creating now is this is a set that covers both that share the same value with profit and um sales. You know, in my profit I put three hundred, I put my sales I put one thousand. So if I combine these two now, what it will do is this. Say I put the set and I put the profit. If I combine these two, it will give you the value. You know, it will give you this set one to it will give you that value that falls into the two categories. So let me let me do something first. Uh, so let me remove this trend line first. Uh, remove trend line and I would. I'll try to make this a little bit bigger so that we we'll see what is happening. Mm -hmm. What I've done is this. I've gone to pick the sales that their profits are greater than or equal to In terms of sales, say okay, uh, because what from this formula here, let me edit it and see. We have said it should greater than or equal to three. So profits are greater than or equal to to three. If we let us let me let us say let me say less than or equal to three hundred and apply. This. It's not cap. Sorry. So I made a mistake here. So what I should have done is for for here I should have gone to. So for for sales I'll go to sales right. So sum of sales which is equal to this. Right? Then for the other one profit. Condition. Yeah. So. I would have gone to what uh, so it's on profit, right? So on profit, this is correct. So what this thing has gone to do for me is that every profit, every it has gone to select. So what has done is that anything that falls under this category, so greater than, if I put less than, if I change it to uh, less than or equal to now, you see that this thing will change. So it has gone to pick all the profit that are less than or equal to, 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 to 300 in terms of profit and have moved it. And it has moved and it has shown it in that manner. So this is what I'm trying to create with that formula. So, but let's, let's, let's see again um, from the formula. So if I, rather than using field, I want to use the formula, but with the field. So I'm saying, okay, where, let, let me see if or, or let me see let us okay let me just say okay sum of profit let's say sum of profit let me just say sum of profit less than or equal to or no not less than greater than or equal to Profit meter. 
think this should um, work. Okay. Yeah. So then I come to set here. Edit. I say sum of sales, right? Sum of sales. Greater than or equal to sales meter. And I say, okay. If I put sales meter, So we have, we have in this set, this set has picked this set has picked the ones that fall in between the range. So it has picked everything. So it's supposed to pick the ones that they share that equal stock. So that's why um so wait. Uh, this is just hold on. This profit and profit, profit and um, and sales. So what this is do, what I'm trying to do is now here is this. I'm trying to, if I pick the sales that, what I'm trying to say is that, okay, the profit meter, just, just hold on, let me, let me try and say I can break it down. So the profit, let us say the profit meter is 50, right? You can see our profit meter is 50, is on 50, right? Then our sales meter, this is on 100. Right. So now on on this on the first set, on this first set that the profit set that we have created, we have gone to use the the product ID because the product ID is linked to you know the sales. So this product ID is for every sales. So I I I went there. I created from here. So from here I created a formula saying that the sum of profits okay. Wait. Let me see. So I said the sum of profit. Let me let me not use some. Let's see. Profit. Uh, so, so, so the sum of profit. So I use so I, I create I, I use the sum of profit equals to the meter. So when the sum of profit is equal to the meter, when we move the meter, when the sum of profit is equal is greater than or equal to the meter, it would that those are the ones that fall in. Those are the ones that those are the ones that that we move the meter. That that's what that's the meter. So when when I bring in the uh, sales of profit, you know, I've created a set for this one too. So this one is sales of profit greater than or equal to the sales meter. So that's this other one, greater than or equal to the sales meter. So when I what I now did, I now combined the two. So I combined these two. Uh, where is it? Um, where is that combined? So this com this is combined. So I combine these two. So the combination of these two, whatever falls in between the sets that agrees to both sets. You know, the first, the first command was that one is equal to 50, the other one is equal to 100. So the one that agreed with two of them, that means for every of the values here, they fall in between that set of 50 and 100 and above. So let us say, for example, let us look at this thing in a more uh, scrutinized manner. So if we if I increase this this from the profit meter from fifty to let us say one thousand, you can see that has gone up. So we are saying that all the profit that one thousand and above, but also at the meter of hundred, they fall. They have also have sales of hundred. They fall in between this category. If I increase this one to maybe two thousand. The sales.
this this one should not be showing the sales the sales here is two thousand but the sales is not the profit is not one the profit is not one thousand uh okay you know what let me try and instead of using the product id let me try and use the product name so you can follow me to do this so let me let me use the product id let me not use the product name so i'll just uh, i'll remove this one from I remove this. I use the product name, so I would uh, delete this. I will delete this, and I'll delete this. So let's use the product, the product itself. So the product. Um, so the product name. So this is the product name. Or should I use Google ID? Will I do? Will I do? Oh, okay. Let's this is so. What what I'll do is I'll use the rule ID, right? So okay, with the rule ID, we'll create a set. So I just we we will right click on the rule ID and go to create. Then we will click on set. So when we click on set, we will come and name this set. We we'll call it profit, right? And we will go to calculation. Then we'll click on this by formula. Then we'll say the sum of sale no, sorry, sum of profit because it's profit. So we say sum of profit is greater than or equal to profit meter which we had created in the last class then we'd say okay what was that mean the profit set so now i would now, from that same rule, I will create another set. This one will be this one will be sales set, and I'll come to this and I'll go to formula and I'll say sum of sales. greater than or equal to the sales meter. Now, if I come, if I come here naturally, naturally, if I put profit, profit set, if I put it on color, it will set the in and out. Can you see it? I set in and out. So this in and out, I can change the color of the in and out. I'll just click on color. Sorry, I'll click on color here. I'll click on edit color. So I can say the color of my in and out for this one. I want it to be blue. And this other one, I'll click on it. I want it to be red. I say, okay. So we see we have blue and red. So we see we see that for every time we move this meter, this, this profit meter, we move it to 50. We see that all this, we move it to 100, we 50. We see that everything changes. Can we see? We see that if we move it to 200, it changes. If we move it up to 2,500, 2,500, you can see that it changed. So everything that, every of the profit that is less than 500 is red. That means what the profit that we are looking at is the one that is blue, right? So likewise, if I bring in, if I bring in set here, this set, this set of sales here on this color, Now, you see it has changed color. We, I come here also. I come to color rather, sorry. So I come here and I change this, this one. I change it to red and I apply it. Can we see that it is red? So every time we move this meter, 
If you move it to 3,000, you can see. If you move it to 4,000, you can see. So, but what we want is that we want, every time this one is moving, every time this one is moving, we want it to move along with the profits. We want the profit and we want to have what falls in the category of the profit and the sales that we are giving, right? So that's why we are going to do a combined set. So we are going to combine it. So I think I was using the, the product ID, the ID, the other ID was not a good reference to use because I, th I think, uh, I don't know why, but it's, it's not giving me the correct thing. So I think the, 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 the role ID is giving the correct thing. So now we will now combine it. So you, you right click on this one, on any one of it and say combine set. So the two sets that we have, we have profit and sales sets. So we want to combine, we don't want to use all members. If you remember when we are doing like, like join, we want something that falls in the category of the two. So we want, so let us assume that in a ball, in a box, we have, we are in a box, we have letter one to 10. In another box, we have letter five to 15. And we want to find the, the union sets between those two boxes. It will be five to 10 because we have five to 10 in one box. We have one to 10 in one box and we have five to 15 in the other box. So the things that they have in common is, is what we want. So it's what they have in common that we want. So we have to use the, you know, the, 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 and if you don't understand the set, I can like explain it with um, a table later. Um, or do we all understand what I'm talking about? Guys. Well, am I am I no longer there? Hello, sorry. Yeah, do you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think it it does resonate. It's like um inner join. Yes, yes. Oh. yes so it's so inner join. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. But I will show you with a table. Um okay, so let me let me just show you with a table real quick. So I just why is one open? So let us assume, let's assume this is box A. This is box A. Uh, say this is box A. Let's say this is box A, right? And let's call this box B. And we have serial number. And we have one. To all the way to C5. And we have what's color here. And we have what else here? And let's just use color. That's fine. So we have Syria number. One. Oh, we have serial number. Let's see. One, two, maybe this is three, four, five. Maybe this is 
not sorting. I'll I'll change this area number later. But let's see. So we have color. Let us see. We have red here. Yeah? We have blue. We have pink. We have yellow. Have in this area. We have wine, we have green, we have blue, we have pink, and we have white. So obviously, this one, this is, let us say this one, this is two, this is three, this is four. And this is six. So let us assume this is a, a based on the annotation. We all know what union is, right? So union is the common value. So if I come here now, if I come to tab, this is this is this this a union. When I say a union B. Because this is set, so it's union that I'm using. But of course, when we say a union B, what union means is what they when what they have in common. If they have if what they have in common. So when you are doing an inner joint, you are bringing what they have in common. That's what you are bringing together. So if I come to this table right here that I've shown here, and I say the inner joint, and I come here inner joint. What am I joining? I'm joining the things that are in common. So first, I want to bring what's in common. So what's in common? One, of course, let us, this will not be one. This would be, say, like, let us say seven. So what I should have done is bring this one down. So one is not common. Two is not common. So this shouldn't be two. This should be maybe seven, let us say eight. That's what I was like. So green is not common. Pink is common. So pink, pink should, this one should probably be three. Okay, no, uh, so, no, sorry, 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 undo. So one, the first one is red. So one is not common. Blue is common. So this should be two. And this should be three. So blue is, is common. So two, we are going to bring in two. So what's coming again? Three, pink. Three is common. And then uh, what else? Nothing. So in these two, in these two boxes, the only two colors that are common is what is blue and pink. So if you write, if if for example you write, let's say, if you write a yeah yeah um um Godwin. Uh, so um, I believe that would be the intersect, not the union. Yeah, the, I'm, 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 you know, in set, you know, for example, now you know, in, if you use union in, in, in this, in this scenario, it's a, it's a different thing entirely. But if you say union, in set in mathematics, this is what it means. It means in a joint. But of course, union means that it's going to put everything together. Yeah. yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. So yeah, I'm, union I'm is, to be union careful. is a combination of everything. Combination of everything. So I'm trying to be careful. So um so and I do, because it's not join I'm teaching, you can see it's set. So this is this set that I say say shared members in both sets. Shared members in both sets in mathematics is union. So it is where they you know where they meet, you know, where two people meet, maybe from marriage. I don't know, maybe that's where they got that word from. But I it, think shared members in both sets will mean an intersect. An that intersect. Would be, yeah. Yeah, so an intersect. So that, that's the intersect. So the intersect, in, just like in your join, in you know, your join, your intersects, what's the, what do you have in common? If it is the yeah. left, you know, if it's on the left, you know, you see we have the profit except shared member. So it's just what is in the, on the left. If it's just what is, what is on the left, what it will do is this. It will say, okay, um, let me let me I like this one and just write left so that so we say let's say this is left now. Left uh, let's say left set 
to the because the set we are using. Let me just say in in asset. So left left set just for the sake of this, you know. That's why I'm just calling this. So it's easy to understand. So we have we say we we know that red. Do we have red? Is red here? Red is not there. So one. So do we have blue? Blue is there. We, is not. The, is there. Is on the left. Is on the right. Pink. Do we have pink? Pink's on the right. Four. You know, four is yellow. Do we have yellow? We don't have. Indigo. Do we have indigo? We don't have. So that is your left set. That is your left. So do you understand? So uh, likewise, if it's the right, is what is on the right? What's in the right box? What's on the in the box on the right? That is not in the left. That's what's the, in the left. And the all, all is going to be a combination of everything. So I don't have to. So this the left will be. Let us say um, so red, uh, yellow, and in the go. If it's for the right, the right to be this is color. So, so for for the right, if you see right set now. And we have the serial number. And we have the color. So for this one, what do we have? We have, uh, we would have six, seven, and eight. And six would be what? Wine? No, six would be white. Wine. And what? and green but a combination of all you see we, we call it we need to call this one all set a combination of all we have one to eight so we have serial number one two all the way to eight maybe somewhere here then we have color I will have, you know, we have red, blue, pink, yellow, indigo, white, white, and green. So do you understand what, what is happening now? Hmm? Guys. Do we understand from that? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So now, so yeah, so what, what we are trying to do, we are trying to combine what is on in profit set and what is in sales set. So we are trying to combine what is in box A and box B. So if I say, so I use the shared member because it's what is in both of them. If I want just what is on the left, I'll go for the left. So we will demonstrate it. No, no problem. So I say okay. So when I say okay, I will remove this one from this color. And is this one I want to put this profit? I'll put it on the color. So you can see. So it has said what is on the profit meter? 2005. What's on the sales meter? 4000. You can see that is what we want to see. You know, ordinarily, if I remove this one. If, if I remove this ordinary, if I say profit meter, what's on the profit meter is what I want to see. You can see it's profit meter. So if I remove the profit meter now, see what's on the sales, sales meter is what? See what's on the sales, what's on the sales meter? Sales meter is what I want to see now. You know, sales meter. It has shown everything on the sales meter. But if I want to show what is on both, Right, that's when I'll use this set on both. Right. But imagine, now imagine, imagine that say, for example, in addition to this, I want to see one other parameter. And I think we calculated discounts one time. Let me see. Say, for example, I want to see Let me put this count on color and let's see what happens. So, okay. It won't work that way. So, okay. So, let's assume that we want to see another discount. Another thing on discount. Maybe, for example, 
Now we will create a set for discount. Now, let's assume that, okay, for, for this profit, now we want to now know on this profit now with, with discount, you know, we want to know some additional things on you know, about discount or better still. Uh, I just I just want to show us how we can combine three param three parameters together. Sorry, not three parameters, three um three uh, measures together. So we can now come and overlay. Uh, you have profit, you have sales. Mm. Maybe let's see. Maybe if we go with quantity, with our discount. Uh, let me see. What do I have here? Okay, so that's sales discount. So okay, let us let's go with this discount and then let's see. Rather than let's see, if you use shape, so if you put it on shape, like for example, if we put this on shape, we can see that it has marked out the shape. We can we can use two types of shape, so we can we can change the shape, right? So we can say the box, we can make it like a field box, right? And we say okay. So for the ones that are out and the ones that are in, so for the ones that are out, they are in a field box, and the ones that are in and in and zero box, right? Right. And then we want to know, like, if for example, we want to know have a meter for for profit. Um, I'll be sorry for for this. We can create a set for it and put a meter in it. Just like I've been creating meter before, I will just do it for the purpose of the class. So I'll create a meter, right? And I'll create a meter, I'll call the meter um, total discount meter, right? Or instead of saying total discount, you just call it discount meter, right? It's an integer, right? And we'll be using all the values. And we say okay, and we we'll ask it to show it. So we have this right. So now we want to link it to a set. So through this, we can create a set, just like we created the set before. So we create one more set and we give it a condition and we say formula and we say sum of what the discount, the total you know. greater than or equal to discount meter. Same thing. And we say okay, now we have this. And we can now put what this on this column. So you can give the in and out. So that now we can give the in and out of discount. So if, for example, I put the discount meter at uh, 10,000, okay. So we, uh, what I can do now is let's say I have the discount now. Rather than doing it like this, I can put the discount on the, just sorry. So I can put the discount. Just let me show what I'm doing. So I can put the discount, you know, the Discount meter. Let me rename this one to discount edit. So discount sets. So I, use, I think it's best to use the profit and this for color, right? And use the discount for shape. So where's the discount now? The discount set. I thought I. The discount set, I just put it on shape. So it changes the shape of, you know, whatever is out and in of this. So we know that based on the meter that we put here, we put 1,000, it's only this one. So we can come here and still, you know, adjust the shape uh, the way we want it. So I would rather, I like the, 
the field so i can put um so i can put the out for for this guy and put the in for this guy and say okay i can uh, adjust the size so i know now that okay this is the this is the meter that this is the meter that i put there the discount meter that i put there 1000 1000 pounds let me just edit the um, the the format so it is in um, currency so currency and we want uh, pounds and we don't want decimal right so, and we say okay so now we know it's 1,000. So if I put, I know that from one, if I put 500, I know it has picked all the, all the discount that is on 500 that falls on the most sales. So you can see, you can even see, you know, from our, from our, from our, you know, we did a, we did a visualization that was showing like you see this visualization is showing like discount and the product right so but from this scatter plot we can see that all the we can even just see like naturally that all the product down discount are falling so the higher the amount of discount we can see the more they are on the ones that are the products that are lower so we, we can we can use that we can you know we can we have we can we can show a visualization something like this that shows so you can see 200 discount on 200 the products on 200 discount you can see them a lot of them under 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 but what i'm just trying to show is this um, with this parameter with this parameter set you can do so many things you can do so many things and i think also you can make you can make this dynamic you can set some actions with let me try and see if i can do that just now there's a way Uh, let me let me try and remember. No. No. Uh. Uh, I'm trying to remember something now. So, but do you have any question so far? Guys. Guys. No one is answering me. Um, I don't have a question. So I'm not sure about other people. But, yeah. So do you understand it, yeah? Okay, so so I want to believe that we all understand what I just showed us now. Yes, I do all understand it. Okay. But the problem I have is, like I said, the other side. When I try to do the um six meter, I was unable to see the six meter on the um the map now. You said what? Graph. You are unable to see what? This the says meter. Although it's showing on the right side side or on the plot itself. This one. Like yeah. do you want to share share screen and let's see what what what, what you are doing? No, I'm not doing it right now. Okay, I'm not doing it right now. Okay. So yeah, so um um uh, maybe if you um reach out to me, I, I can just look at it real quick with you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so um so there is um there are other functions to this. So what what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to 
read the uh, automatic or we should never should or we should. You're not sharing your screen already. Yeah, so oh sorry. So like I said, um, maybe for example now there, there is something there is a um, I, I'm trying to remember, but I can't remember just now. So there are other things, there are other actions that can, that you can use, you know, this annotation and area. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, I'm trying to remember how it is done. But what, yeah, so what, what it does is like, you know, yeah, so it shows drop line. So, okay, so, uh, you know, you can show the drop line, right? Do you get? So, if, for example, now, uh, because I put that drop line, right? So, you can, you can also edit it. And you can say maybe... Labels, automatic, maybe, you know, you see, so it tells you like, okay, the profits and it tells you what the sales. Do you understand? So if I click on this now, it tells you those, gives you those information. And these things are just from like, you just set it up. So if I come to the dashboard, for example, now, you see all these things that you just did there, they are there. Do you get? So basically, this is what this should, you know, look like. Cause this is what it should look like. Yeah. Uh somewhere. So I have like this you see these top products that I was doing the other time, these top products and top customers. So there is a way that I can uh, because I, I told you I was doing um what I was trying to do the last time was not correct. Right? Um I did not do the correct thing. So I, I'm thinking about something, maybe thinking about moving these to the top, right? So we have like we just have like It'd be like the top products, you know, up here. Just next to these guys. Uh, yeah. Right. So we have top product and the top customers. So we have them here. Right. Then maybe bring this guy down here. Right. But it looks very big now. Oh, I don't know if it's it doesn't fit. But anyways, for now, um, and then probably I have a map here. Then yeah, I kind of like arrange these things. Um, so I would um, I would create one more sheet now, right? I used to do like a map. So a map of sales. So uh, normally, what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to use, but it's because this thing is already saved on my uh, on my. Let me see if I, I don't know. Uh, let's see if I can do. I can replace it. So let me save this, and try. And, I don't know if I can replace the table, and try and do a join alongside, and then bring in those. Uh, I'm bringing those uh, I bring in the the salesperson for each um for each region. Just uh, trying to remember my password. Okay, why that one is running? So let me just let me let's okay. So I'll create um uh, 
So we'll create a, what do you call it, a map. Of course, you might not like you might not get everything at once. Um, like you might not get everything I'm trying to show you at once. But it's a, you know it's a gradual, it's a gradual process. So I just try to put the um, I'll do the you know put the map. You have a different region, right? So I can put a different region like in column, right? So I can just pick region here and put on column. So it can give me different color. And I can label them, you know, um, put like profit and things like that in there. So I, what I can do is I can just give it like the maximum color. And here I bring in, uh, you know, profits or, or sales, you know, right? I can put sales on you know uh middle so it labels the series i think i can still put profit on the label too like i can put profit there you can see the profit is there you know uh, i just want to try this for the first time i don't make it work through <laughs> i'm being silly for doing this but let's see and there's nothing like that. So anyway, so so I have the profit and the sales, and I can give them like you know, like, you know, you, you know, we can still edit this and give it like different uh, stuff. But we can give it like different stuff. But better still, if I want to do something like this, I would rather put the sales. Maybe uh, let's see, uh, sales. So if I want to do something like that, I'd rather use like something like this, right? And uh, say maybe the sales on size. And then you, know, you can mess with the size. But you know, uh or better still, what what we can even do to even make this even grand uh, is have this and uh, have a dual. Right, and on one, you know, on one of these, you know, you do like the you change this one to like uh, shapes, you know, right? Then you can remove the region from color. You can use the same color, so that's the same color. Then what you just do is, you know, put the the sales. So if it's for example, if it's sales, if it's profit that you really want to show, then you put profit. So I can put profit on size. Then I can use, you know, I you know I use shapes now, so I can go into shapes and use like a really dark shape, right? And then I can change the color. I can use um, say white, just you know, because we are going to overlay it, and white white should not be a bad color. So I would um, expand this a little bit, right? You see, so that's that that's too much. So what I just do is I would the axis so now it's on top of the drive and i can still increase it i think um let's see so it kind of show like the sales of the the, the the stuff then i can even label it now right um sales and let me see later so it says the sales so i can give it like um so in the label now i can go and you know, go to let's see. Mm, let me see if I can format this and just give it like some so sales. What is it sales that we use or profit? 
So I use profit. So I use profit. So the ones with the most profit, and now put sales under it, which is not bad. So the sales and the profit is right. So this one has the most amount of sales from the boy. Doesn't it doesn't necessarily it doesn't have the most amount of profit. This has the most amount of profit. So this this region is making the most amount of profit, regardless of how small it is. So what I'll just do is I will just uh, edit these um, sales. currency and better still if is that why is not okay the currency I'm gonna start it again should show the currency now So that's currency um, for for the sales. But then again, if it's just, you know, if it's profit that you just want to put there, you don't necessarily have to sell. You can, put, you can go ahead and just put it profit and you build the profit, you know, and you uh, just edit it as we did just now. So profit, you know, edit it, um, give it like a bolder font, and then just increase this a little bit here. Yeah. Fine. So we have a profit. So the profit for each region, and then uh... I can bring this guy in. Yeah. It's not looking so looking so nice. So uh, what I can do is let's see. So I can do this. I can do this just uh, let's see. No. Ah, this is tricky. Just hold on. So I want to do something to do when I zoom it out. Uh, I Oh, okay, let me see.
so <clears throat> So what I can do is I can edit the this a little bit right just um, just to give it that and we can even use a better color. I think I still need to edit it a little bit. Um, I think the um, A little bit big. So hello, are you? Yeah, I I'm F and A. Sorry. So the um all the field that you eaten, yeah, whilst yeah. trying to, you know, get it neat. Yeah. Where if you want to retrieve them, how do you do that? That's very easy. So we can just ask for more options. So you see the legend and all these things. Mm -hmm. They are all here. Yeah, the parameters. Okay. So you can bring them and you can link the parameters. So that would be the last um, aspect of you know this whole thing. So uh I'll just add I'm trying to see where to best. How to best, you know, put this thing together. So I think I was still, I think this one is best, you know, somewhere under here. Or I, I, I think uh, you know. Yep, something like this. Or maybe with the other one on top of the other one, I'm looking for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, then yeah or well, yeah and i look for something that i put down here to kind of like i look for something that's like kind of like feel that piece and here yeah, you know i just give like a rundown a quick rundown the company a company wise is like you said for the last uh, i think it's four years Yeah, the last four years, uh, maybe it shows, uh, uh, I don't know, what did we find? You know, I'll leave that to you. So you can write something there. So, but um, maybe what can be here is what I was going to kind of like uh, maybe see if we could do the and you know I, I told you I made a mistake here uh we I can't use what I used for for what I was trying to do it was filter that I was supposed to use so I was trying to what 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 I was trying to do of course it can work for something else but not that so I will just uh, kind of like show us what that can work for so what I was trying to say is that okay, for just like we have used, let me see if I can create uh, the table for that. So, so okay. So you see how we have top product now, right? So let me create another. Uh, let me create. Let me duplicate this. So what I was trying to do is this. Okay, let's assume we have a parameter now. Uh, do I have a parameter that is already created? Top and top series. Okay, I think I think I have it inside there. So let's see. Okay, let's assume that we have. Okay, let me create a parameter now. So let's create a parameter. No, no, Jerry, no. Let's say parameter. Let's say parameter for uh, for for measures. No, um, for dimensions now. 
So and um, you know we you know is a float because is uh, we are going to be listing them out and you know their their dimension. So so and some of the dimension is we have um so I have product. So before, what I was trying to do was like under product, I should now the, the break down the product, the category. So I just found out I couldn't do that. But what I can do is I can do like products. When time product comes up, when a product name comes up, right? Product name will be displayed. Why is it? Let's see. That's the category one. Ah. Sorry, let me try this again. Create parameter. Look. I mean, does he have a have I created something before? I've not created anything before now. Look, you know, string, rather, string, string. Sorry, guys. So, list. <laughs> mm, so, uh, um so value let's say product name so our product name category uh What else? What else can we have? Maybe you can have region. Right. We can have something like this. And then we say, okay, we create the diamond, we create the parameter. We show the parameter. Right. And then we create the calculation field. I will call it dimension. Dimension, right? So we see, I think we use the if, Abby. If. If product uh, which dimension? equals product name death then
But if dimension is product, See, that got product name. Product name. So. I think we used, uh, if that product name, we did product name, we did category, right? If uh, what's the what's the last one? I think we did region. Just hold on. So, uh, What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to that when the, when we have category, right, we should have category. Then when the parameter is showing, I don't know why why this this should, is why is giving all these ones in the uh, in in blue in yellow color. Let me check this. Yeah, product name, value, value product name. Mm -hmm. Well, well better still, let me do something. Uh, edit. 
when product name display product when category display cut then region display key values so okay so no parameter create calculation tool So if no, sorry. So mm -mm. so I'm supposed to use the case statement. So okay. So the case. Right, the case is a uh, dimension, right? The parameter. Okay, now when uh, when the value uh, was a value, the product, right? Product name, yeah. Then, then what's that uh, product right the end products i think we use product that be product so then product then space no and next when When uh, category then cut when when um what's that last one region. Then RG. Then and uh, record is Let's call this dimension one. What's the problem now? You know, when I mention in case the expression is dimension. Value is product product cut and Product name, product, category, cut, and reg.
Just uh, give me a moment here. Let me check something. Uh, just hold on. Just hold on. So the mistake I made was I did not put the speech mark right. So the speech mark is there now. So I just wait here this one. You see that it move from this place to move to parameter. So it's in dimension here now. So I put dimension one. So I can remove this product name and I can change to what I can put dimension here. So yeah, rather. So because I have dimension here now. What's all this? Okay. I think you pause again, please. Um, Julia. I don't know if I thought of how to create a table. So, uh, because I think I created on the, I don't know if I thought. Uh, okay. Let me see if I, if I can. Do that here. Can I create a YouTube? So let's say, for example, maybe, let me see. Uh, what table should I create? What table can we put? Uh, let's see. Uh, so before I was trying to create region, I mean. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. We have sales and we have what else? So this one now uh, we can what can we do? Um profit margin. We have profit margin and water down uh, profit sales quantity profit margin and the rest. And um oh this count. So yeah, so we can you know um we can do the the we can format it and do the we can format them and do and put you know the currency. 
just done that for a week. So this can you know that one is you know quantity that one does not have sales. Then we know profit margin is percentage. I know time has gone. I just want to complete this week so that you know percentage. Yeah. This thing has happened again. So uh profit total profit margin. So let me let me put it automatic first. No. And the profit margin, where is profit margin? I think it, it did something like this the the last time that we uh, not that, not that, not that. Profit margin. I think the last time we just used a, a suffix to put the percentage because it wasn't calculated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let me just use that. But I think there should uh, there should be like a better way to do it. Uh, there should be a better way to do it. Uh, yeah, maybe it was because of the way I calculated, but there should be a better way to do it. So, yeah, so we have something like this. So, and uh, I don't know why the quantities are so low. I did not look. This does not look right. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look right, but I don't I really don't know why the quantity so uh so so it could this could be like what's the one this could be like summary by uh regions. So I know that we have that other information that we had earlier, that one has like summary by it's it, it, some it, the regions are by like a particular set of people names of people so you can have something like that you know you can have this here or even above rather than below so it can come like at the top like right, this one goes down Yeah, so we have something like this. So yeah. So I can still we can still increase the, you know the uh the this one and uh, then just like this. Uh, so this one <clears throat> so that's like something that you can you can just do it to you know fit the width so it's exactly it, yeah so that's something like this um yeah so it's just yeah it's just a few editing you know some editing i did not do but let me just 
Uh, so it's just a through editing I did not do. And briefly, I've like given like an overview, a simple overview of this. And then, um, like like we said now, so if you now want to start including some of these uh, in and out and stuff like that, the ones that are relevant, you can now start bringing them in. You know, like all these parameters, all these parameters that, we, that, are, that are supposed to work with while you're using these things. So you, you can pick out the parameters and you can link the parameters. So you don't necessarily have to bring out too many of the parameters. Like for example, if for example, I bring out the end days now, now this is the end days. If for example, I bring out the end days and I want to link the end days to like a couple of, so where do I use the end days? So the end days is, uh, is for these guys now, right? It's for these guys here. Yeah, it's for the moving average, thank you. Yeah, so yeah, so I mean Yeah, I think I'll it'll take me another while to set this one because I have to set I have to start setting them one by one, looking for a space to put them in and, and things like that. So but the major part of, of it is that now when you bring out sorry, when you bring out these things, then you can now you you know you can you can uh, you can bring them from those things and for like this one now i don't think you can do that for this let's see let me just so for filter now for example mm -hmm. so i didn't i didn't really use so much of the filter but what I'm trying to tell you is that you can, if a parameter, like for example, let me see which parameter uses work for more than, I don't think I have anyone. I think it's for the front, all this front date and two dates that work for more than one. So if I have one of these parameters that work for more than one, then, then if I adjust this one, it will affect the other ones. But you can, because this parameter is linked to the others, but if, for example, it is filter, now we filter because, like, like now, for example, we can use this data. Say, we can use this data, for example. I think maybe I'll just show us that one in the next class. And um, the next class will be like kind of like our final one. So that like any question that you want to ask me, you can ask me on that one. And uh, but this 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 one that I'm talking about, this filter that I'm talking about is like, oh, you can use. This, if anything you filter here, you can use this one. If you click on filter, it filters other. You can use to filter other, other um field. So if 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 for example, say for example, uh, let me see. And I click, maybe I click on this. My system is a little bit slow, but every time I click on something different on this because i'm using this one as a filter right because i've come to use this i've come to use this guy as a filter anytime i click on anything here you see, see it affects others can you see so from this region this region west now the things that that are showing are in relation to west now if i click on central it's a little bit slow. the thing that i clicked is related to central if i click on south the things that you see that everything will adjust again is in relation to south. If I click on east, and you can see this up here is changing, it's just totally changing, just east 100% in east. Do you understand? So, it's, and that's because I'm using this for filter. So once I click out the filter, everything comes back to normal. Do you understand? So, there are, there are still some little, little things that you know just there and there that you need to learn according as you're going on. But I'll just show us that filter a little bit of the filter, and um, I think you are good to go on your own. So, do we have any question from what we have done today? Um, I know I took like extra 15 or 17 minutes, and I knew a couple of most people are gone. So, um, yeah, so um, Juliet, 
Miriam, do we have any questions? No. No, no question for me. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. So in case you, you know, um, need 